hi friends welcome to gt coding in this video we are going to create uh, this header this sticky header which changes the style when we scroll up or down so when we scroll up uh, this has a completely different style and it transitions into that style and when we scroll all the way up it changes back to the original style so let's get started so first of all we'll create some boilerplate for our html5 so we'll name it animated sticky header and uh, i'll just open it with live server so first of all i will uh, link my style file so style.css and i will also link my main.js file over here so so i have those two files uh, linked up now let's create our html structure so first of all we have a nav with an id of main nav and in that we will have a division for our logo and here we will have an anchor tag and in that we will have an image so i already have an image in my img folder logo.png and we will just fill up this property so there we have our logo now we have a ul after this so we have four list items so here we will type ul and in here we will have four list items so they are uh, home faqs services and about so home FAQs services and about so we have our uh, list items then we have three different sections so and in that we will type section 1 section 2 and section 3 so after that we will just add a footer and we will type this website is designed by gt coding so we have our html markup set up so now we will go to our style.css so first of all we will have box sizing to border box and then we will have margin of zero and padding of zero and then in our body we will give a font family of roboto sans serif and now we will style our main nav so main nav and in here we will have a display of flex so that we have everything in uh, one line so we have the logo and the navigation items on one line and then we will have justify content to space between and it will move them to the opposite directions then we will set the padding to 0 pixels 16 pixels then we will have a position of fixed and a width of 100 percent and a top of zero pixels and a background color of eee and we'll also have a transition for our background because uh, when we scroll down we want to have a transition so we'll say 0 0.4 seconds for our background so now we will style the sections so section nth of type 1 which will select the first section and here we will have a margin top of 84 pixels and we will change the size of this image so that we can see all the other sections so for that we will have to type main nav and dot logo img and we will set the height to 84 pixels and we will have a transition for our height of 0 0.4 seconds so we have our section starting from here now we will give a styling for all the sections in general so we will type section and here we will give it a height of 300 pixels padding of 16 pixels and font size of 20 pixels
and for each of the odd sections we will have a different color or a different style so here we will have to type nth of type odd so here we will have a background color of eee and a text color of 333 so all our odd sections will have this style applied now we will style the even sections so section nth of type even and we will give a background color of 333 and a text color of EEE. So we have styled our sections. Now we will style our footer. So here we will type footer height of 70 pixels, display of flex and align items to the center justify content to the center and background color of black and color of the text to pink so we have our footer style up so now we will style our list items so here we will type main nav ul so all the ul's in our main nav will have the style applied so list style to none so we'll get rid of uh, the bullets now we'll set the display to flex then we will align items to center width of 400 pixels and justify content to space around so if you don't know about display flex i have a separate video about uh, flexbox you can watch it to get the basic idea of flexbox and one more thing we have to do in our html is that these are not clickable links so if you see here these are clickable so we have to add an anchor tag so we will go to our list items and so a href hash and paste it at the end over here so now these are anchor tags so now here we will style our anchor tags so main nav ul li a and we will give it a text decoration of none we don't want the underline and we will set the color of the text to 333 we'll set the font weight to 500 and we have a transition for the color to 0 0.4 seconds now we will go to our javascript file and here we will write the code to do some things when we scroll so first of all we have to access the window object so we'll type window and there's a method called add event listener which is used to check whether something is happening on our uh, uh, HTML document and act according to that. So here for our listener, we will type scroll. So there are so many options over here. So we'll type scroll and then we will have a function which should be executed when uh, we have a scroll event detected. So here we'll create a constant and name it logo image and it should be document so we will access our logo image so query selector and in here we can type dot logo img so it will get this image over here in our logo image and then we will have another constant named main nav and we will say document dot get element by id because we have an id for our main nav so we'll type main nav now we have both of these set up so here we will write an if condition so if window dot so there's another property called page y offset which lets you determine if the page is scrolled up or down so when we are scrolled all the way up 
the value of page y offset is zero so when we scroll down the value changes to a positive number so here we will type if window.page y offset is greater than zero which means that if we are scrolling down we will change the height of our logo when we scroll down so logo image dot style dot height equals 64 pixels and if that is not the case and then we have to change the height back to the default so style dot height equals 84 pixels which is the default so if you now save this we can see that when we scroll down the size of our logo image changes so we also have this transition effect because we have given this um, transition property over here for our height so when we scroll up we have this height changing and also the transition applied to it so what else do we have to change so if we go over here when we scroll down we also want to change the background color and also the color of these links so for that i will show you another method so in the same way you changed this height you can also change the background color and the text color but i want to show you a different approach to doing that so in our style.css we will create a new style so actually we will create two different styles so first one we will call bg black we should have a value of background color changing to 333 and then we will have one more style called txt white for the anchor tags so we'll set the color to hash eee -E -E. so now we have to add these two classes to our html elements so that so that these changes can take place so we will go to our main.js and here we will type main nav so we have already created a main nav constant and we have accessed the main nav id from our html and then we will type class list so this is one of the properties in javascript and dot add so this will add any class that we specify over here to this element so here we will add our class called bg black and then we also need to add another class so main nav dot class list dot add and here we will add the txt white class so we will just copy these two things and paste it over here and here we will just remove those classes So if we go to our HTML document, we can see that our current um, lines of code are not working. So here we can just type important and the same thing over here. So now if I will save this and if I scroll down, you can see that we get the same effect that we wanted. So when we are scrolled all the way up, we get this default style and when we scroll down we get this style over here so you can play around with this value and change the behavior like you want so if we change it to 100 and if you scroll down we get uh, this effect when we scroll down a little bit more so you can change these uh, values to whatever you want so this is basically how you create an animated sticky header or navigation using HTML CSS and JavaScript so we are not using any external libraries like jQuery we are we are doing it in pure JavaScript I hope that you have liked this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day